This is the most stupid religion ever. They don't want even to see what their prophet said. And when their prophet, he says something, they try to fix it, duct tape. Oh, the prophet, he did not really swear by the Torah, which is between his hands. So why he said, bring me the Torah? He drew the cushion underneath of him. He placed the book in front of him. And then he said, I believe in thee. When you say believe in thee, you're not talking about something absent. That's why you say thee. For it's known. They do their best to deny the poopoo of their prophet. It's a poopoo -poo machine. And this is exactly what the person before him he tried to do. He didn't want to read what his prophet said. And by the way, when the Muhammadan they say, our book is corrupt, they are laughing at Allah. Because according to the Quran, the stupid Quran, Allah's book is the Injil. So the stupid Muhammadan is saying to us, let us laugh at Allah. Allah is a God who sent books he cannot preserve. It's not my duty to preserve the book. It's the duty of the one who sent the book, the one who wrote the book. All those verses in the Quran saying the Injil is the book of Allah. Look, the endless. So Allah, he sent the Injil, and then Allah don't want to protect the Injil? We laugh. And look at the translation. It says, confirming what went before, that, before it. In Arabic, it says, مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Agreeing with what is between his hands. You see how they lie in translation? When I say to this guy, is the book between his hands? He said, no. This verse confirmed the hadith. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ What is between his hands? And now if you change the translators, you will see how they lie. They say confirming what went before it. But yadayhi mean his hands. Baina mean between. Musaddiqan, not only confirming, believing. Lima mean which. So believing in which, between, the hands, his hands, Yadayhi, his hands, and that goes all over. In many verses in the Quran, if we if we copy this, and we go to the search engine, the yellow pages of Muhammad. Look how many times the, the verses are confirming مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ <coughs> Chapter 2, verse number 97 Chapter 3, verse number 3 Chapter 5, verse number 46 Chapter 5, verse number 48 Chapter 35, 31 Chapter 46, 30 مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ mean, what is between his hands. That's why I say, those who learn Islam from Muslim translation, they learn nothing, because they lie. The word between is gone, his hands is gone. Look what they are saying, confirming what was revealed before it. You cannot trust a Muhammadan ever. If you do so, you are a fool. If we keep changing the translators, maybe we get somebody who have little dignity. Maybe. The hands is gone. Between his hand is gone. Different translator. The 
same garbage, different translator. <laughs> The same garbage. He took the word between his hands off. Why they take it off? Because it's an embarrassment. And then you ask yourself, what version of the Quran this version is? This one supposedly is a little more honest. He said, confirming what preceded it. But this is not what the Quran is saying. If I take this Yadaihi, as it is, copy it, and I open Google Translation, <clears throat> Google Translate have nothing to do with me, with you. It's a stupid software. Copy. And you can do the same. Let me zoom in here so you can see what we are copying in the verse. The first one in the line in this chapter, chapter 31, the first one in the second line. Copy it. We do not need to speak Arabic. Copy. And now we go to Google Translation Paste. Do you see it? People, do you see it? This is the devil religion. No dignity. And why they change it? Because this is an embarrassment. How the whole Quran keeps saying, confirming what is between his hand, between his hand, between his hands. If it is, if we are saying to them, what is between your hand is false. So Abdul, who used three rocks to clean his ass, he come to us, says, your book is corrupted, okay? It's corrupted. Uh, Abdul, so why are you stupid Quran saying no? Believing. What musaddiqan mean? What musaddiqan mean? Let us take it and see. A tasted to, I know what even that word means in English, but in Arabic it means believing. What a very filthy cult. Demonic. Satanic. No dignity, no honesty. And you know what? I don't care if a Muslim says that Allah, he sent a book and his book is gone. That additional proof that Allah is a fraud. Why? Because the stupid Quran says, nobody can change the words of Allah. When you ask the Muslims, what does that mean? They say, oh, this is only about the Quran. <laughs> Ah, only the Quran. But Allah did not say, this is only the Quran. He says many times in the Quran, look how many times. Nobody can change the words of Allah. Chapter 6, verse number 34. Chapter 6, verse 115. Chapter 10, verse number 64. Chapter 18, verse one, uh, 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 27. Hello? Hello, my friend. Yes. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world, you know, as love. Uh, you know, uh, my friend, uh, uh, when you call me, 
uh, because I was yeah. calling people, uh, the speaker was in mute because yeah. I don't want to bother him with the sound. You call me, but you, people did not hear you. Can you say from the beginning what you said? You said, I am the one who left Islam. You remind me of yourself. I said, uh, can they hear me now? Yeah, they do. Yeah, okay, cool. So I said that I left Islam, I remember with you in the last video, and I never knew anything about Islam until you showed me, and I was, and, and you showed me many mistakes in the Quran and how Prophet Muhammad lived. Sorry, not Prophet Muhammad anymore, but he, how he lived, basically, Muhammad. And now uh, I've learned about how Jesus lived and who he was and what his message was and what he came for. And it just, uh, and I just fell in love with it. And, you know, it said in the Bible, God is love. And, um, yeah, and all these loving things and, and just a better path for humanity. And uh, so that's why I loved it. And I'm a Christian now um, because I accept Jesus. Yeah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It, it, uh, it, you know, like last time I asked you to, to accept Jesus, but you hesitated, <laughs> you hesitated right? Well, so, I didn't know anything. So I had to, yeah, I went to the church, like I said, and I asked the priest about, you know, what Christianity is about and does God love everybody and what's the fundamentals of Christianity? And he showed me and he explained to me and and I did some research within like uh, all day yesterday and stuff. And uh, so I learned a lot and uh, and I found that Jesus is the path that I want to follow 100 percent. Yeah. Well, a glory to the Lord and my friend happiness now, right now in the kingdom of heaven or a soul is saved, as the Bible say. We are so happy for you. What about your family now? I mean... Well, my family are Christian anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Okay, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I right. was the only so, uh, Do you know anyone like you? Uh, or maybe we can help and you can ask them to join us and call us? Um, let me... S uh, yeah, I know a few Muslims, of course. Yes. Okay, yeah. I, I invite you to invite them. You know, I will. And, I, will I, will yeah. I will tell them your Skype. I will tell them your Skype, and I will tell them to ring you, and you can show them everything that they do not know about Islam, just like I never did, and the mistakes in the Quran. So, because like, if you think about it, the you know Muslims say that the Quran is a hundred percent from Allah. So if it's from God, it should have no mistakes. Period. You know, yeah. but if you find even one mistake one scientific mistake it proves it's wrong so you know and you showed me how the baby is a mistake the, and there's i'm sure there's more of course the whole and, book um, is a mistake so, <laughs> yeah yeah but and i'm pretty you notice sure this... i don't know for how long you're watching do you notice how like they lie we show them the reference yeah, in the front in of the their English eyes translation they lie yeah yeah, yeah. not only the, even the colors i mean how they how they try to deny their prophet he hold the torah he put it in the cushion he said i believe in thee and according to the guy, he don't believe in the. You mean the books and by Musa's, not this one. I mean, this is. Do you exactly. see that? You see the hypocrisy and the lies of those people. So my friend, exactly. I'm, I'm happy for you. And can I, I can be... I ask you a question? Sure. For, just um, uh, before you go, uh, can you clear? Can you clear? Uh, clarify the word because, uh, like in Islam, <laughs> obviously Muslims. Well, if you ask uh, Allah, is He one? Obviously, they'll say yeah, and they will go in the Quran and say Kul hu Allah wahid, hmm. and. <clears throat> they, that's the that's what they'll always say if you ask them is Allah one. That's literally what they will always say. And can you just because and um, I saw the ahad in the Quran. I typed in the Arabic word ahad mm. and it, and I searched many verses in the Quran and there was English translations. Also, when you click on the name ahad in Arabic, it says anyone or of one of them or just it's not a single word basically. Yes. So can you just clarify what Ahad means that Muslims say Ahad, Ahad means is one? Is one off, one off. It's all over. Can as you just as, show me some verses you say, in the Quran? Shall, so shall, shall, you, know, you type the word Ahad here in the search engine, you know? Yeah. And then it's going to show you verse after verse, starting like year two, one oh one, one oh two. So Wama you mean Ahadin. And they teach nothing anyone, anyone. So it have to be one. Can, of, can you, you know? can you go to can you go to the Quran five twenty seven chapter five verse twenty seven? It says one of them. <laughs> uh, I think it says uh, ahadi ahadi me something like that. One of them. Five twenty seven. Uh, okay. Five twenty seven. Can you just read it and explain to me, please? Because in the Arabic, I mean in the English, it says oh, one of them, and that's what it says when I click in the Arabic word. Also, yeah, here, but can actually, you just clarify what actually, it here it says ahaduhuma. Uh, which means yeah, one of them. Yeah, whom, yeah, one one yeah. of them. So what is whom? Who, what does whom mean? Whom? H U M. 
the the Huma, other word Huma, besides ahad. Yeah. Huma is something yeah. you add to the uh, to the name or to the word to make it uh, belong to who. So it is for two people. Huma. Huna. But Huma means they or them, right? And uh, it only for two. Yeah. For two, two people. Two. Yeah, for two. You added for two because now they are speaking about the two sons of uh, uh, Adam. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Abel and uh, Cain. Uh, yeah. So Allah, he accept the Qurban, which is not Arabic word too, uh, from one yeah. of them. This is what it says here. She accepted from one of them. One of, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But so does that, uh, what is, part, uh, when you say one of, is, is, that a, is that Ahad that says one of? Or is it, Ahad is mean so, one, one of. But when you say Ahaduhuma, one of both, of two. And Huma means uh, uh, like like both, two. like like For two, one. right? Yeah. So one and of, Ahad then is the one the of them. Yeah. Right? When we say Ahadahum, you are saying one okay. of them. Okay. 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 If you don't Can say you give that, me better? yeah. If you don't say that, then you have to say something after it. You know, uh, uh, or the verse had to to be complete. So let us say when the when the angel are Harun and Harut and Marut, they are yeah. teaching magic. They say, yeah. and they don't teach ahad, which means anyone, yeah. except with disclaimer saying we are just here as a fitna. So ahad here have to be a, a perfect sentence. It have to be for one person out of a group. It can be two, it can be three, it can be ten, it can be right. many. You know, right? Yeah. Can you just uh, so when 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 you say kul hu Allah wa ahad, what is what is what does uh, that mean? The, to the, you? First of all, the verse here is not complete. Make something fishy and stupid, because you cannot okay. say. You can say, "Qul uh, Allahu ahad." Ahad what? You have to continue. Well, said, the, the English just says, uh, "Say Allah is one and only," right? I know this is what it says, but the one one in Arabic is wahid. Yeah, yeah, I know wahid. Yeah, but ahad so is uh, one off. One off. Can you give me more better examples in the Quran? Something that I can just so With I can be more satisfied. All those verses please. later. You can freeze the video. All yeah. those verses, chapter two, one o two, uh, two one three six. 285, 373, uh, 884, sorry, uh, 384, 3125, uh, 153, 453, 453, 415, uh, 789, 6, 984, 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, it have to be, no, because one of what? But what if they say one? You see? If, okay, my what friend, if they just say uh, one? First of all, one first of all, first of all, if Allah is one or two, who cares? That's not. This is not really important for me. Uh, right. The important is, if there, if there's a, the, as an example, I heard this uh, guy. His name said Guru. He said right. that the Hindus yeah. believe there's thirty-five million God. Yeah. Okay. Now, what if the Hindu gods are true God? Who care about the numbers? Yeah, no, I, I, it's true. So being yeah, one, yeah. being two, being seven, that is yeah. not really a big deal. Yeah. But the one okay. God who do not know how he created the baby and where the sperm what is coming is, from. What does Min Ahad mean? Min Ahad. Ahad actually, one of the idols, you know, yeah. in Mecca, his but name what is Ahad. Is, what does min, min Ahad mean though when you say Min Ahad? Well, who Allahu Ahad, Ahad is one of the names of the idols. Okay, so you cannot say Ahad without putting like a, a, no, no. I'm, a I'm saying to you, one. I'm saying to you that there is a word, Ahad, is yeah. exist to the Arab before yeah. Muhammad was a name of one of the idols. Can you show me that, please? I just want to see the reference. And can you post it, please? Just so. Okay. Thank you. Actually, the, the Muslims, they have a movie. Yeah. Uh... Let us see. <clears throat> and the summer too, he was an idol too. Okay. Uh,
<clears throat> so in Quran five twenty seven is one of is the ahad and and both two is the humma right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, one of them, okay. I'm just trying to find reference which can be accepted by the Muhammadan. If if if, if it's very clear in Arabic, like you, uh, like how do you know it and how come my millions of Muslims who speak Arabic do first, not, first when they all, read the Quran, who, who they, they don't are, see these things. Who, who they are, who they are to say, this is... You know, the second you write a book against the Quran to say the truth, no, but killed. like, like, but like, if 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 Muslims say, like, even in the West, like, not in the Muslim countries, but like in the West where they're free and not be killed, but those, if they, if they, because uh, there's millions who speak Arabic in the West, including you, and they speak an Arabic, but how if it's very clear that says one of them and of many or any one ahad in the verses, and okay. this is also Muslims translation. Yeah. Then how is it not? How is it not like clicking in their head and not accept? Why do they keep saying they believe, Allah but, Allah. You know, they, but if if you live in Islamic countries, you would not dare to 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 say that. Uh, then how come those okay, don't I, I found I Arabic? found the book of Tafsir, Tafsir al Quran, and this is sorry, <clears throat> al Sabuni. Okay. Here. This is actually let us go to Ibn Kathir. But this is Perfect. Mukhtasar Ibn Kathir, which is a summary of Ibn Kathir. But let me see if I can see uh, Ibn yeah. Kathir itself. But anyway, yeah. it says. That the Arab they used to worship. You said say he is Ahad, say he is as a Samad, right? A Samad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look what the what the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me. <laughs> and the funny is, <clears throat> the Muslims. In the Arabic book of Ibn Kathir, yeah. Uh, let's go to Ibn Kathir actually to see if we can find it in English. <laughs> but in Arabic, Perfect. in Arabic, they try to take it off, but we have images of it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember this guy? He was saying to me, "Go to chapter of Al Araf." Uh, who who called me? The Abdul who was who, who called no, me. No, I literally didn't watch. I only just came on, but like last, uh, probably after he left. But yeah. I'll watch the video later on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let us go here. Let us go to verse number 72. There's nowhere in Islam that Allah says that He's the only God and He's the only one, right? No, it, it says in the different places, but that will not make it. I mean, you see, when we show, we show in stupid Arabic and we show the, the, the mistake. So He is the only right. God, but He is say, He said He's the only. Uh, you know, the only uh, he's the creator, the best of the creators. Right. So what you're so saying how, that there so is some is verses the in God. the Quran that says he's the only yeah, God, how right? How is the only God, but he is one of the creators. You see here. Yeah, right. uh, and if Ahad doesn't uh, mean one, then look, that's look, also look, a mistake. Look too. how the Muslim fabrication they say that there is yeah. an idol. There are several idols around the Kaaba. Right. One of them is a uh, uh, hood. Oh, okay. This, uh, this is the say hood, you know. Hood. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What uh, does hood mean? It's coming from Ahad. It must be. Okay, hood. And then okay. you will see there's a idol. His name is Samud. Okay. You see the word Samud here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but in the uh, in the in the correct uh, Arabic book, it says Samad, not Samud. So it says Samad. Samad yeah. It says Samad and it says Samud. In the Muslim okay. translation, they took the word Samad and they put only the word Samud. Why? Okay. Because the second you say Samad, the Quran says Allah is Samad. Okay. okay. If we go to the Quran, if we go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, let us see. <clears throat> the same verses. I will go to Ibn Kathir. Uh... Let us see what is Ibn Kathir.
All right. Uh, and now we are in the Arabic one. Let us see. See in the in the Muslim website, they yeah. Let me show you here. They took it off from the Arabic uh, book, but right. Okay. We, we have the original book. So here it says there was idols. One of them, his name is Sadda, and the other one is Samud. But there is no Samud. It's gone. So what we will do? Let us get them busted, and, see, and you will see why the Muslims are ashamed of their uh, cult. So if we right. go here, you know, and even Muslim, by the way, they notice that there's somebody, he changed the print of Nikathir, which has exists for centuries. Okay. Here we go. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. Let us put it on the screen. It's all over the internet. Okay. And this is the authentic uh, uh, thing, um, Tafsir, right? This is Nikathir. Okay, okay. The most time they take they take <laughs> it off. You know? They took it off. Okay. So here they are showing you the the uh, how how they change the words. They take it off. Right, okay. So people they people who have the book, you know, they make those Sorry, copy. they took they took what out, sorry? They took it off because it's embarrassment. Took what? Took, took what off? Samad, Samad, that Allah, his name, Samad. the idol, his name is Samad. Oh, there was an idol name that was Samad. And then what did they change it to? They changed it to, uh, they, they took it off. It's not there. They... It's not there. It's not there. It's gone. What do you mean? I don't understand. The word Samad is yeah. not there. They took it off. In the Quran? No, in the Tafsir. Okay. And it was in, there in the tafsir. In the tafsir, yes. Uh, oh, so you're thinking, so what you're saying is that they, they take it up because they don't want to make it look bad, right? They don't want people to see how, oh, how, okay. how that Muslims, they are worshipping Samad and Samad is just a name of an idol. Okay, because this mm. is one of when you say Allah is one, right? And that's the verse of Samad. Yeah. Okay. See, this is the original. This is the original. Okay, okay. You know, this yeah. is the original Ibn Kathir. Asanam, you call, they have it for you in yellow. This is already page posted on YouTube, you know, I mean, in, in, right. in Google. Asanam, you call it Lahu Samad, or Akhar, you call it Akhar, Lahu Samud. But now, if you open the Muslim website, they took where it says that the Sanam, his name is Samad. Right. So, what the Quran is saying, Allah is Ahad, the, 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 uh, the pagan Ahad, the uh, idol Ahad. Allah is Samad, he's the same. All of them, all those gods, is Allah. You said to me also, Allahu Akbar means the uh, the moon god Allah, Allah, and who means and and uh, Akbar is the god of Abraham when he called the uh, the son of his god in the Quran. Yes, when when Abraham, uh, the, when, La and when Abraham Akbar, he right? saw the uh, saw the sun, he said, "This is Akbar, Hada yeah. Akbar, Hada Rabbi Hada Akbar." So he worshipped the sun and he called the sun Akbar, but he is not really the one who called it Akbar. This is the name was used by the Arab for yeah. the sun. So when he saw the sun, the Muslim translate the word Akbar as a greater. Yeah, yeah, I see it in but, English. Yeah. But Akbar is not really greater, you know? What Akbar, does Akbar, Akbar mean in Arabic? Akbar, if you are talking about an object, it's a bigger. If you're talking bigger. about a so human... So when you say Allahu Akbar, when Muslims say it means Allah is greatest or Allah is greater though. Well, they claim they that this is what it means. But as you see, the Akbar, it depends yeah. what we are talking about. If you are talking about a human, you are talking about age. So if I say Ana Akbar Mink, uh, I mean I am older than you, you know? Right. Okay. So it's about the amount uh, or size. Right. Uh, so or, Akbar it, is the God of the, it is the name of the sun, right? God. This is why he said, when, Akbar, you will see yeah. when he saw the moon, he did not say this is Akbar. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. he saw the the uh, the planets, stars, the planet, not the stars, the planet, uh, planets, the uh, planet. Sorry, planets. He, yeah. he, he did not say uh, this is Akbar. He called Akbar only to the sun. 
How did he see the planets, though? Because the only planet we see is, uh, there's no planet that we well, see. Well, the Muslims, they say at that time, they used to call the planet as a word. They use it for stars, Kaukab, you know. Oh, okay, so it's uh, the white stars. That's why the Quran yeah. says Kaukab and Durri. So, okay. uh, 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 but it doesn't matter really what it is. But if you think uh -huh. about it, uh, why even Abraham... And he, when they said he didn't worship them, correct? Yeah, when they said he stopped worshipping them, but this is stupid logic too. I asked the Muslim before when he called me, so what, he never saw the sun before? He did not notice that the sun disappeared? Right, right, Same right. time, if he saw the planet or the stars and they disappear, and he saw the moon, he worshipped it too, and then he noticed they disappear. How come the last thing he noticed is the sun? Right, because the sun comes up after the stars you know? go down. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, this is a. I mean, you, are, you grow up as a child all your life. There is no. Uh, my question is, my question is, how did he? If the only reason he worshipped the sun, and the, the the stars and the and the moon, and then once they disappear, he doesn't worship them. Uh, how is he worshiping Allah? He I mean, he did not see if Allah he never anyway. saw, if the, or if yeah, he never if the one who disappear. If the reason to believe or not uh, believe is appearance or disappearance, Allah never appear anyway. Yeah. You know? Or disappear, yeah. So there's, yeah, yeah. And if the Muslim, they agree that Allah, he appeared to Abraham, then they have to follow, or God appeared to Abraham, then they have to go to that to that Torah, where God, he came to, to, to Abraham, but he came as a man. So the Islam is just a stupid collection, you know, in Muhammad, yeah. he, he, he talk he, in you know, the Quran. Allah came as a fire and the and the tree or bushes or something, right? Yeah, a fire. Yeah, yeah. and said, so "I am and, your, and your the, Lord." In the tree, he spoke yeah. from the tree. He says, uh, "I am, I am your God." You know, Allah. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, anything else? So we can maybe take one more call. Um. No, no. that's that's pretty much it. Um. That's all. I just wanted to know if Ahad means one, like Muslims said to me, or, you know, they say, I have Ahad always or challenge anyone to make a sentence without yeah. making it Ahad one off. It's impossible. Right, because it's in the Quran, right? Yeah, it's impossible. No, no, okay. it's any, any Arabic, you know, make make, an, make a sentence. Say the, make a sentence says Ahad. It's impossible to one. make it without yeah. saying one off. You have to say, you know, Ahad al-Tullab, one of the students. Ahad al-Nisa, one of the women. Ahad al Khiraf, one of the sheep. What uh, if they say Ahad God or like uh, Allah is one God or Allah or something? It doesn't matter, like you know, and by the way, this is not really important for me, as I said. Right. If the Muslim, because there's examples in the Quran anyway that he's one of. Yeah, but this is not, this Ahad, is not, yeah. not important. The number is not really important. You see, the, this is one of the silly argument of the Muhammad. Yeah, they if Allah you, is one the, or if he's ten, it doesn't mean yeah, it's true. They think yeah. if they say that we believe in one God, that will make them different. Yeah. But that is a you said that tawhid, tawhid doesn't mean one, it means making one. So, uh, unification. It one. So, he means unification. What does that mean? Like trying to make it one? Yeah, unify, you know? Unify. Okay. Yeah. If, if it's one, you do not need to make tawhid. So, if okay. I make a sentence now, I say tawhid do al Arabiya. Unification or uniting the Arabian state. So, if they are united. Okay. Already, if they are one unit, there's no need to say United States of Emirat, right? Al Emirat Al Muttahida, Al Muttahida, you know? Why? Okay, because okay, already be... they are united, you know? Right, so, okay, like United okay. States of America. So, Tawheed is saying you are going to unificate. Okay, together. you're not unificated yet, but you will be, right? Yeah, yeah. Tawheed okay. is, a, is, a, is a process now. You know, yeah. like now, something you are doing now. So it's a wrong word anyway. Okay. Additional to that, remember, uh, they believe in one God, ten God, seven God. Still, yeah. it's a stupid God. Who care? Yeah. You know, but they think because they believe in one God, as they claim, they are superior to others, but they are not. Because right. God yeah, is yeah, a stupid yeah. God. And you know, he's yeah. the one God, but he say he is the best of the creators. How, how you can fix that? And how the baby is made, it's ridiculous. Everything too. is wrong. Everything is wrong. I mean, we are just uh, showing step by step, but everything is wrong. So, uh, uh, you know, this God, he is the only God. And then he says he is the best of the creators. Either he is being yeah, stupid, yeah. He or, he, or the Muslim have to agree that he doesn't know Arabic. Because the creator is somebody that makes something out of nothing. And not only that, you know, when you say you are the best of the creators, don't the Muslim they say you cannot compare Allah to anyone? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And Allah, he says nothing like him. Yeah. yeah. So how we compare himself to any anyone? Yeah. 
when I say I'm the best off, it means I'm comparing. Yeah, yeah. And I am yeah, one yeah. of them, but I'm the best of them, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, yeah. you know, you as a human, and not only that, you have to comp you have to compare yourself to the same kind, because we cannot compare uh, a, a dog to an apple. Yeah. You know, apple is an apple, dog is a dog. So yeah. look, we compare a human to human. Otherwise, any other compare, uh, unless we are doing like scientific study about uh, a dog, he have a tail. And how do you, how do you say uh, in Arabic uh, when Allah says, I'm the best of the creators? Khaliqeen. <clears throat> Okay, cool. How do yeah. you say it again? Al Khaliqin. Al Khaliqin. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, okay, and that means that he's the best of creators. Okay. Yes. Okay. And if 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 the Muslim they say he is comparing himself by somebody making bicycle, bicycle is not yeah, a creation. Yeah. And even yeah. if they want to say yeah. so, so Allah is better than the one who made bicycle. This is silly. You know. And notice here. With yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Notice with me here. He's talking about creation of life, the verse itself. You know. Yeah. So yeah. when you say I made this, and we, you know, we showed everybody how stupid this is, and the Muslim before he called and he tried to de to deny that this is a blood, you know, normal. Oh, blood. did he talk to you about the verse also? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he probably he tried to deny it, but it's there. You know, we showed him his prophet. He's yeah. a coward. He don't want to read it. What uh, did he say? Did he leave or no? Well, we got him, but you can watch it from the beginning. <laughs> but anyway, okay. but anyway, all the steps of the creation is funny. And it's yeah, not a metaphorical. Yeah. You see, if it's a metaphor, because um, there's an American, uh, pro there's an American professor, and one of the uh, one of uh, two Muslims went up to him. Uh, uh, I forgot his name, um, but he's a Muslim. Uh, two Muslims went up to him, and he's a professor, and he's and they said that this miracle is a miracle, and he said that the bones and the flesh grow together simultaneously. And in the Quran, it says that the bones, then the flesh covers the bones, which is completely wrong because the baby is not a skeleton inside the womb. My friend, I'm not a doctor, but the Quran yeah. is very funny, and it's enough yeah. for me. And the sperm does if, not go into one, dead if blood, because if it's dead, it's dead. Yeah, and if one fact is wrong, the whole Quran is wrong. Exactly, yeah. You know, exactly. Especially the Muslim, they say the whole Quran is word by word coming from Allah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our book is written, uh, you know, we as a Christian, we don't claim that every word in the Bible is God yeah. talking. You Inspiration know? of men. There's, yeah, there's yeah. people talking, of there's God, Rabbi sorry. talking, yeah. there's Mary talking, to, the, the disciple talking, there's Jesus talking. So when when God, when Jesus, he said, this is God, our Lord speaking. When uh, yeah. uh, when Moses, he said, this is Moses talking. And then when you, when you the second you speak to the Muslim, you say to them, uh, is the Quran is a miracle? They say yes, All right? And then yeah. we find that the Quran, the, the ant is making uh, more, uh, Quran. Yeah, the Jews, the Christians, Moses, the ant, the a ant, lot of people the said. Ant, the ant make yeah, Quran, yeah. you know? Solomon. So, so yeah. how nobody can make Quran, challenging the whole world to make Quran, and then we find mm. the ant making Quran. The, the, yeah. Because uh, 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 in the Quran, Allah is only transmitting what people said in a book. And he's just yeah, writing but, down what but, they said already. How they so say it's not from himself, make, it's from them, right? How the Quran says nobody can make a book like this. But then and they made it yeah. even to make a verses like it, and then we yeah. find that the, the the you know everybody making Quran, the Shaitan yeah. making Quran, <laughs> genies, you know? yeah, yeah. So it, uh, Allah is just telling us what the ant said, and then He says to us, "Can you make like this? This is stupid. Yeah, that yeah. means the ant is yeah. God, not Allah." Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the ant said, until He arrived to the value of the ants, one of the ants, she said, one of the ants. <laughs> you look at the story how yeah. stupid it is, you know. And yeah. you can find this story, by the way, in the book. It's called The Legion of the Jews. Yeah. So the stupid Muhammad, he take the stories, the Jews, they tell to their kids. Because Solomon would... got taught the, the language of the birds. But how did he know the language of the ants? This is an additional stupid after. mistake in the same chapter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you will find the same story about Suleiman speaking to an ant, you know, a conversation in the yeah. Legion of the book, Legion of the Jews. Muhammad is a fool. He, he heard the Jews saying those things. He would have done the Quran, as usual. Yeah, yeah. And then if we ask ourselves, do, do the ant even talk? And they Ants talk, don't talk. But they, they don't only, talk uh, nor yeah. like, like yeah. us. Yeah. They either chemi chemical or vibration. Yeah. But yeah. here it says that Suleiman, he heard her speech. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Even the Quran says she said. Yeah, yeah, Quran. it's ridiculous. It's right, yeah. But, uh, and then he heard her speech, you know, and then he smiled from her speech. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah.
It's just a stupid yeah, no, story. No, the Quran is just fairy tales. Yeah, now the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you for calling, and I'm happy Thank for you. Thank you anyway. Thank you. That you accepted Christ, and now you are saved, and we pray for yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Because God is love. Yeah. Let me yeah. do that. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. You know, because I have a lot of people who text me in Skype, and many I don't even answer. Even you call me before, maybe. Uh, but it's hard for me to remember who you are. If you see my Skype, you will get scared. I mean, I have thousands and thousands of people texting me. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Let us see how many we have right now in Patreon. We are doing kind of a marathon to support people of Ukraine. So guys, after two or three hours talking, we were able to convince. It was 145, right? Okay, so now we have 185 people. They decide to make a donation. How many people are, you know, watching us now? A thousand five hundred thirty. Please help them. People lost their houses. This is a church. Those people, I know them in person. I did seminars in their churches. I went all around Ukraine. They invited me. Uh, they did not pay me everything I paid from my pocket. And the reason is very simple. They are poor, you know? Uh, so I paid for my ticket, for my accommodation, for etc. And I was so happy to serve them. They are wonderful people. Poor people, yes. But God, if you plus the, the poor, and if you are, if God, he gave you more, you know, you should share your blessing with those poor people. And this is the page for them, not for me. This is a church in Ukraine. They are doing great service, feeding thousands of people. Even if you don't have much, you can give it $3, a cup of coffee. Doesn't, doesn't take you much, doesn't hurt you. It doesn't break your budget. For sure, if you can give more, even better. So please, we have before the end of the month, today is March 29. Can we make those, the 185 people who they are donating, can we make them 400? So they can serve more people, feed more people, old people. And not only food, medicine, you know, you name it. You know, when I saw the, the, the video first time, I was surprised about how long the line is. Very long line. Of people who need help. And you know, even if you are young there now, there's no jobs, there's no work, there's no income, and people need to eat. And they don't discriminate anyone, they give anyone. They don't ask him even, who are you? He's a Christian, he is a Muslim, doesn't matter. They help everybody. From 5.30 a.m., people are waiting in the front of the church. Look how long the line. In the cold, do you know how cold it is? When I saw the line, I said to myself, man, that's really horrible. How, how in the world even they can't get them enough? And I am the one who told them to record. Because I told them, people, they don't know you. People, they are making donations just because they trust me. But people need to see what are you doing. Thousands. So the 3,000, 4,000 until now we gather for them, which they did not have yet, by the way. They did not receive. 
what they are spending right now is donation from other people because the need is great вы готовы помочь нам вот милая женщина как вас зовут ирина вот ирина мы дуже благодарны что вы нам помогаете ну большое вам спасибо вот. Дякуем за вашу помощь. Очень, очень помогаете, потому что сейчас все без работы, а детей кормят. I don't have a job. Yet the children need to be fed. This is the truth. This is the donation is not coming to me. I'm not asking you. When I go live, I go live, I go down, you know, I send my... Uh, I don't even talk about anything to donate to me. And you know that. You can watch all my videos. But those people are hungry. I'm not. Thank you, Lord. Those people, they lost their houses. There's no heat. Look what they are wearing. And they wear the same clothes inside the house. Can we help them, please? Let us see how many we have now. It was 185 a minute ago. One person only convinced to help. One more. Now we have 186 people. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Not from their names. You can call yourself whatever you want. You can call yourself the praised one, Muhammad. But who is going to praise you for what? I was really surprised when I saw that after we told people to help them, after all this time, we have only 146 people. And now thanks for those who decide to join. And by the way, you can stop your donation a, a, a week from now. They collect every month between the first and the sixth. So let us say you are a person who cannot even handle it for more than three dollars. Uh, you want to give three dollars and that's it. Between the first and the sixth, they will charge your credit card. After that, you can log in in Patreon and you can cancel your pledge to them. Very simple. And that way you make it only one time donation. 186. Can we make it 200 before I finish my live podcast? And can we make it 400 before the month end? I depend on you to share the link, tell your friends, their need is not a joke. And the beautiful thing is, when they help people, they give them food, they give them whatever they have, they give them even fuel, even gas. They don't ask him or her, who are you? How come we never saw you in our church before? There's a Muslim woman from Bosnia. Once I met her, met with her, and she was visiting, you know, some people. So I, you know, she, she they mentioned her name, and her name is a Muslim name. So I thought she is a Muslim, you know, because her name is a Muslim name. And then they start talking about, you know, they want to go, what they want to do in the church. So I said, Oh, you're a Christian. I said, yeah, I became a Christian. I said, what happened? She said, when I went, she told me her story in the war in El Bosnia. And she lived with the Muslims as a Muslim woman. She said, when I went to the Dawa, you know, charity, I stood in the line, like this line you see here, long line. Thousands of people. And she stood many hours, and she had a bunch of babies around her, her, her children. After standing all those hours, when she arrived to the person who gave 
the food. He told her, why you are not wearing hijab? Why what? Why you are not wearing hijab? Get out of here. And he was a Saudi. The poor woman now, she went to the end of the line. And she borrowed a hijab. When her turn came again, it was many hours after. A new guy was there. The new guy, he bent down and he asked her son, Do your mother pray? The kid, he's honest. He's a child. He said no. He kicked her out again. So this woman now, she have to feed her kids. That's it. She don't wear hijab. She don't pray to Allah. They refuse to help her. So she walked a couple of kilometers to cross to the side where there is a Christian in that area. She went to a Christian charity. They did not ask her, what's your name? You are a Muslim, you are a Christian, who are you? They took care of her kids. They asked them if she need any medication. They gave them food, they gave them blankets. And she said, well, this is where God is. She didn't know anything. She didn't know anything about Islam. She does not know anything about Christianity. Then she said, whoever the God who made those people help me, without asking me who I am, this God is a good God. So let us help them, if you don't mind. And I hope the admins, instead of posting videos of YouTube, which we said many times, don't post videos in YouTube, Uh, during the broadcast, I hope they will post the Patreon for this uh, church. And by the way, you can use PayPal if you want, if you don't have a credit card. Uh, it's very easy when you, go, when you go to make donation, they show you options, choose credit card or PayPal. Very simple. Let us see how many people now. Now we have 200 people. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Good-hearted people here. And I hope we will have more. Because as you see, the need is huge. And we as a Christians, this is what we should do. We should help. When we can help, we help. We cannot, we cannot. But even three dollars can be can be a meal for a person there. And you know, in the time of hunger and war and devastation, uh, you accept anything. It's not the time when you go shopping and you choose this and that. People want to survive. I hope that's many of you after we finish today. And remember, when you go in Patreon, you should see this title, because maybe somebody will try to fool you and post different Patreon, have nothing to do with those people. I know those people very well. I don't know anyone else. So you will see the name, Charitable Organization Healthy Youth, the Future of the Country. And by the way, this name is organization has exist before. This is not something they created now. It was me who asked them to make an account in Patreon so we can help. It was my request. This is the first time for them to do this. To create an account in Patreon. It was my request. So now we have 203 people. Wonderful. And we pray that the Lord will not make you in need in the future. 
many of us think that you know we take life for granted and food for granted and health for granted and our roof for granted look at those people less than 30 days ago they have a roof they have jobs they have a life and the evil came and, and destruction is all over look at this crowd I mean, I'm really amazed about what they are doing. It's not only they need money, you know, how much work. Because, and not only that, there is a risk to transport the food. This is a, this is a city. is under attack non-stop by the Russian army, specifically the Chechen army. Non-stop. And it is less than 30 kilometers away from the Russian borders. It's called Kharkiv. He is making a prayer in the early morning before they start giving the help for everybody. This is a very exhausting job to be a volunteer, to spend your day just doing this. вам помните что это вся благодать божья это милость божья для каждого из нас и поэтому давайте мы помолимся сейчас давайте мы призовем имя господа потому что только он на него мы сегодня можем уповать знаете мы будем so, friend, i hope i will i will, i will see more and more people helping please tell your friends share the link with them you know if you could not give much give three dollars it's, a, it's not even a price of a sandwich, a cup of coffee, but for them it makes a difference. Somebody saying the Chechen is, are not even fighting. So who is fighting? They go there for vacation? Yeah, all right. Uh, <clears throat> Somebody saying, what about the people of Dembas? You know, here you see the stupidity of some people. So let us say the people of Dembas, and they are poor, you know, people of Dembas, but he forgot that this is a territory stolen from the Ukrainian. And the Russian, who they have millionaires of yacht, they cannot feed the people there. And Russia is under attack, brother. The Ukrainian, they were seeing us for eight years. Do you see how evil they are, the Ukrainian? So Russia, Russia, who stole the land of the Ukrainian, is under the attack. They are victims, brother. For eight years, for eight years, you are ripping them apart. For eight years, you took their land. For eight years, you are a threat to their life. For your eight years, you are shitting them. And then when they fight you, you go and you want to take the whole country. There's not enough what you stole already from them. Some people here, they claim to be Christians, but they are scumbag. Always remember one thing. Those who do the aggression are wrong. Doesn't matter who. And always remember one thing. You don't have the right to take a piece of land from any country. You don't. The American don't have the right. The Japanese don't have the right. The Indian don't have the right. The Pakistani don't have the right. Anyone he is the aggressor is evil. Especially you are not even fighting an army, you are fighting people. They are shin houses.
What about the Armenians? The Armenian being sold by the devil Putin. Three armies joined together to attack Armenia and Putin was watching. The Israeli army was given all the weapon they need. The Turkish army gave them weapon and soldiers and the Azerbaijan army with thousands of volunteers. And Putin the coward was watching. He watched the Armenian being slaughtered. He sold you out for he is doing business with the Turkish. He made himself as he saw nothing. And soon this evil man, he will sell you, sell you out more. He is forcing now the Armenian to sign peace agreement with the Turkish, even though Turkey took half of their land. Very evil man. I could not believe how evil this man is, how hypocrite he is. If somebody attack Russia, we will be against him. We don't want Russian to die. Here, Russian government is committing crime. And the coward, in order to go and take a city, they let down the whole city. And guess what? Even after they flat down the city, still the city is resisting. And soon, Putin will leave with shame. People will win. Many people, occupier, came before you. All they will leave. If the Russians are hungry, we will ask you to help them. If they are the one as victims, we are not taking side here. But all of us, we knew who is the victim. The whole NATO is terrified even to send an airplane to the Ukrainian. And you are trying to convince me that Russia is afraid? The NATO are terrified even to say we support Ukraine. Oh, we support them, but uh, we will not even get involved. You know, we will not get involved, okay? We don't, uh, you know, they are still fine. And they want to convince us that Ukrainian, they were making political, biological uh, weapon. Look who's talking. Do you see how the evil he tried to make is excuse? Give the land to their people. Get out. You destroy their houses. And not only that, the Russian, they should be paying for this to rebuild. Who is going to build those houses for those people? Yesterday, I was watching a video. Women, she is more than 80 years old. She hardly, she has a stick walking with her. She is crying for her problem. I mean, this woman, she has nothing left. Where she will go? 80 years old. Why you do that? You are against the government? Is the government in that building, in that apartment where these women live? There's no shame. No shame. And you know, always when war happened, the billionaire, the rich ones, they will go fly, you know, and take a ticket, fly. The poor, they stay. The poor, they pay. This person who spent his life to buy an apartment, and most likely he did not finish payment for it. You give him a bomb. Now the whole building is gone. What, what he will do? The Western, they commit a huge crime against Ukraine, not only the Russian. They promised those Ukrainian, and when the war happened, they left them alone. This Joe Biden, the coward, he keeps saying to them, we will not involve, we're not involved, we're not involved. 
and he is even refusing to allow countries to give airplanes real weapon he refuse he want ukrainian to die putin and biden two faces of evil there's one he prevent the help which means he killed them and there's one is coming to kill I pray that the Russian soon they will overcome this evil man and they will put him for jail in jail forever. Let us see how many people and remember now you can have your own political agenda. You can have your political opinion. You can be against, you can be with. But if you are a Christian, you help those poor who need help. Those are not army. You know, Ukrainians are really, I mean, you see, I was, when I was a kid, I have a gun in my hand. A kid. A baby. Those are very, very, they have no idea what is, they don't have guns, they are not well trained, they don't know anything about war. In the Middle East, we grow in war. And when you see this, what, what kind of politics can explain this? Who can explain it? And when somebody he claimed that the Russian are victims, well, do you see when the last time they bomb you? If you say to me, oh, uh, Donbass, this is their city. And you are the one who's bombing them. And you are the one who took their land from them. And the whole war purpose is to take more land. Isn't it enough for Russia that they have the biggest land in the world? Why you wanna take those little tiny pieces for this country? which is more than 20% of the country or even more. Why? Isn't it enough that the Russian, their border is all the way to USA, all the way to China, all the way to Japan, all the way to Afghanistan, the whole world is Russia. It's empty. Their land is empty. They can have more than seven, eight billion more and it still is empty. What this war for? And it is guy, he claimed that the Ukrainians are our cousins. Is that what do you do to your cousins? Let us see how many people they are now donating to Ukraine. We have 214, now 216. I hope more people, they will join. This is the total number now. Remember, this is the name of the page, so don't be mistaken by others. And I have the link in the info in case we are done with our podcast. So now we have 216 people. They are helping in the donation. You know, remember, even if you do give little, but the little will help, little from you, little from me, will make something. Those people, they are not seeking the best of the food. They will just want to survive. Buy the medicine, fuel. I hope soon the spring will come and things will get warmer. You know, when you see this a huge crowd, you say to yourself, how in the world, you know, you can even help those people, you know, how much help you need. That help will come. The good ones are there. It's just about you choose to be one of them or not. I mean, look at this crowd. It's endless. You can see the end. 
What is the end? There is people they don't, they can't even walk. They have to go around and check. Maybe they cannot leave their places. If they have a place to live in. We pray to the Lord that this will not happen. We pray that God will get rid of those evil. Doesn't matter who they are, the warmonger, the one who wanna bring destruction for mankind. Isn't it enough the diseases they have? Isn't it enough the poor they have? Isn't it enough that those people they cannot around the world, Indonesia, Africa, I mean, poor people around the world, we do not need this. Hardly they can make living without war. What is the accomplishment? So let us do this. I really want to support those people from my heart. And break my heart what is happening in Ukraine. If you notice in the first few days when the war started, I do not even, I'm not able even to talk about the garbage of Muhammad no more. Because that brings sadness for me. But you can change that. At least in their eyes. Because now they will say, well, who is the one who is giving us this donation? Where is the food is coming from? Who is the one? And that will strengthen their faith. And the weird is that tr traditional churches are doing nothing. Traditional churches, priests are doing nothing. The one is doing this work is not the one who wear uniform of a, of, of a priest. Priest is not the kind of the person who give you his hand to kiss it. Those are real Christians. All their work is volunteer. Preparing. Preparing, just to prepare the food for those people. Like here in the title, it says, uh, uh, I don't know how many thousands, but preparing the food just to give out, how long, how much work will take. It's not just to bring in the food and bring in the, the you know. Actually, I've been in this van. I just saw this van now. I've been in this van. We went once to a village and they were doing uh, some activities for children who they are orphan. This is before the war, you know. And I remember I did, uh, uh, you know, you know those things for kids, they jump on them, you know, you put air on them. So I work, me and the minister in the church here, uh, uh, you know, to the flame because it was the end of the day and we put it in the back of this van. Uh, and they have generator. There's no electricity in that village even before the war. I mean, that village we were, we went to. So here they are showing you all the food, the frozen food is, you know, they are using small cars, small taxis, small, you name it, you know, you name it. But in order for them to be able to do what they are doing, somebody have to help, somebody have to pay for it. They are doing their part. Let us do our part. Let me play the, the sound of this. And maybe. Kharkiv, thank you for the support. For our sisters, we killed cutlets, pelmeni, nalisnik, gulubs. Bless the Lord. We believe that the Lord will win. How much is it? 600 pieces. Thank you. A lot of work needs to be done. And we will always do work. We have now 219 people. Interesting. Uh, 
And you notice, by the way, that the numbers of people who they are watching dropped severely. We were almost 1,600. The second we stopped talking about Islam and we start asking people to help for donation, the number now is 1,200. You see how they run away? The second you say, do something, help something. It was 1,600 people watching. So talking about the foolish Muhammad, made 1600 people watch asking people to help the number dropped more than 400 people immediately somebody's asking me did you support them i mean what kind of a question is that are you serious I am the first one, actually, I don't want to talk about it, but I talk about it because I want to encourage you. I was the first person who donated in their page. Because, because I was the first one who received their page. Did you report, did you donate to them? Did you support them? What do you think? Are you serious? Uh, anyway, I'm thinking, I don't know if this is a good decision or not. What about I say, you know what, I'm not going to come here for the coming few days. Unless we have, you know, 300 people in there. What do you think? When we have the number 300, Christian Prince will go back live on air. And remember, this donation, zero money is coming to me, and I'm donating with you to them. What do you think? <clears throat> I wish we can make it thousands more, you know. But let us say 300 people. Especially if we can do that before the end of the month. Remember, Patreon, they collect money by the first of the month, between the first and the sixth. And uh, if you remember before, I mentioned that I'm going to make two fixed days to go live on air, right? Or three, th three days, actually, I said. But I decide for now to go with two days. They are going to be fixed days. And the days will be as, let us put for you on the screen. Will be like this. The first one will be Sunday, every Sunday. 10.30 New York time. AM. 10.30. New York time AM and Wednesday 9 p.m. New York time what do you think this way you know that in those two days I will be live on air between them I will come too you know but it might be different timing so this way you guys you have a fixed time you know that for sure Sunday morning 10 30 New York time Christian Prince will be live. Same for Wednesday. And we choose the two opposite direction, let's say timing. So people who live in the East, they can join. And then what I do during the week between them, you know, it can be better time for people who live in Europe. But by being <clears throat> in Sunday uh, morning here in USA, it's going to be good for people who live in Europe anyway, and good for those who live in Indonesia or Far East. All right. I don't know. You convert that to your UK time. Convert your time. I use New York time, so you can convert it. There's a you go on YouTube, go on Google, convert the time. 10 30 a.m. What that will be p.m. or what that will be in your country. All right.
my friend just do convert i do not need i need to know just convert uh, go to google prophet google can help you you do better than muhammad uh, right now we have 222 people i was hoping we would have way more by the time i finish my broadcast but look like still people are hesitating to give little to help but i hope more people they will join and they will help those poor people and when you remember people the lord will remember you remember what the lord he said i was hungry and you fed me i was a stranger you took me in etc when they said to him what when we did that to you we did not do that to you he said when you do it to my brothers you do it to me so the charity you are giving to those people, you are giving to the Messiah. And again, those are not a church who need to buy uh, a piano or a speakers or, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, they just want to help the poor. Food, eating, medicine. Your money is not going to be spent in decorating a church, unuseful church, you know, things. For me, actually, I reject any money to spend in making huge, big churches. What about building the church, which is the, per the people who need help? This is the church. So help them. And we pray the Lord will help you the same as you do. All right. Uh, let us see. When we have the 300 number complete, I will be back live. And remember, the Muslims, they made a challenge for me that they're bringing me three musketeers, three Muslim sheikhs, one of them is an Arab. And I believe he live in Emirat, but I'm not sure. We will see. And two other sheikh, they are Asian. I don't know where from. Maybe Malaysia, maybe from Indonesia. I have no idea. So the three musketeers, they said, uh, we hope you will not run. They are saying, we hope you will not run away, Christian Prince, from this challenge. And the one who I spoke to is the one who said that. This is what they said to him. So this is not this Sunday, not the coming Sunday, the Sunday after it. And they are the one who ask for time because they were worried I will not accept. And they were worried uh, it's not going to happen. I said, anytime, let's do it now. I'm going live. So they said no. So they, they discussed, they negotiate with themselves. And they come that this is not this Sunday, the Sunday after because they need time to prepare. I told them, <clears throat> I do not need time to prepare. Feel free and join me. So anyway, not this Sunday, supposedly the Sunday after it, unless they give me different update, we will see. Uh, every Sunday, morning time, New York time, 10.30, I will be live. Every Wednesday, 9 p.m. New York time, I will be live. And then between them, still I will go live too. But those are the only fixed dates and timing. All right. Let us see how many people here we have now making donation to the Ukrainian charity. We have 223. I will trust that you guys are still, after I finish my broadcast, you will share with your friends and you will ask more people to help. I trust you. And I believe many of you, their heart is broken for those people, like my heart. Thank God we are not hungry. Thank God we have a roof. Thank God there's nobody is bombing us and shelling us. Thank God for peace. Peace is a priceless. Pray for peace, my friend. It's enough what we have. Poor people are all over the world. Poverty. 
Even I heard the news that some they are trying to force women, Ukrainian women, into prostitution. Imagine you go to Europe seeking help, and then the mafia right away they will try to capture them. Not by kidnapping them, but by putting pressure on them. Evil is everywhere. There's thousands of children now, nobody knows where their parents are. And now they are in the hands of total strangers. We don't know how many child molesters are between them. We don't know how many criminals are between them. What this man Putin he did is extremely evil. And I pray to the Lord that he will pay for that heavily. I truly pray. Sometimes you don't know what to say, you know. Sometimes it's hard even to, to describe the evil, how evil it is. I don't know if the noise is coming in my microphone from your side. So maybe it's better for me to stop somebody doing some work in his yard and the noise is so strong. Nobody can really describe the pain except the pain of the one who is suffering from it. And even the one who is suffering, he cannot even describe to you his pain. But I notice, which is really amazing, that those people, after all what's happening, they are grateful. They have a smile. I watch many videos. You know, they are smiling. Sometimes maybe you smile because of pain, too much pain, but they do. So let us help them to be stronger and help them to survive. You hear no noise from outside? This microphone is amazing then. Because I have somebody, I don't know what he's cutting outside. Uh, it's like cutting a tree or I don't know. You have zero noise? That is impossible. Wow. I mean, this is really amazing. How in the world this microphone is not capturing the noise outside? Unbelievable. I mean, they are working outside as they are working under my window. This is how, no this is how noisy it is. It's hard to read it to explain. But you are not hearing noise. That's amazing. I can't believe it. It might be a miracle of a lover.
Oh, by mistake, I did touch the microphone. I'm not sure. And my, my voice is gone. Of course, I don't know for how long. I wasn't looking. Yeah. You, I think by mistake I touched my microphone and I, uh, I muted. Now I think it's working fine, right? Yeah, all is good. Let us see how many now. 200, 226. All right. Well, I pray that maybe, maybe before the end of the day today, maybe by tomorrow, we will have at least 300 people donating. And, you know, $4,433. Uh, it's not a big number. But at the same time, it's a big blessing for them. Huge blessing. I don't know what this number will do for them there, but I'm sure it's going to help to support hundreds and thousands. Little to survive. Just to survive. Nobody is expecting from your help to have uh, uh, the best of the food. They just want to survive. People, they can't afford for, to buy medicine. There's even no phones working in many places. No internet, no electricity, no heat. And not to mention the people who lost totally their buildings and their houses. And they came out with nothing. So let us show the love. And those who give and share their love with others, love will return back to them you know life is like a mirror and you will see your face yeah there's a very bad noise somebody is cutting uh, this is like this this are the city they are doing some work the city all right guys i want to say thank you i really appreciate uh, uh your help and your support for those ukrainian people who need your help uh, uh, we help them all of them even those who they are christians we appreciate them and let us pray together that your help will be received with a great pleasure and the lord himself will reward you for the big number you give or the little number you, you give. And remember, this donation is not coming to me, it's coming to them. And I know them in person, I was there in person. And because I know them, I'm asking you to support them. Otherwise, these days it's hard to trust people, hard to, to, to give your trust and risk your name. To say go support this person and then maybe later they are not what they claim but because i know them i say to you support them all right uh, so let us let us do our best who of you promise me is going to share the link of patreon of this ukrainian church after we finish today and always who promise do you guys promise the link, as you see, they are posting for you in the chat, and it is in the info of the video. So if the chat stop, we are done today podcasting. Already we are here for four hours, and I lost my voice already, you can tell. But always the link is going to be in the info of the video. The, shirt, the first link for Patreon, it says to Ukraine, donate to Ukraine. You can share it with your friends, you can share it with your church, and you can... Trust them. I know them. I've been there. I did seminars all over through this church. And I'm very grateful, by the way, for them. Because there's many cowards. They don't dare even to speak against the cult of Muhammad. 
those wonderful people, they are the one who invited me. They are not coward. They are brave. They open their, do their doors for me. And this is why I really, uh, really appreciate them. All our traditional churches, sadly, without naming them, they never invited me. They never listened to me. Those priests who they are wearing uniform, I come to their door, says, I am a person who teach the Christians about Islam so nobody can de deceive them. Can I talk to you? The priest, he said, I'm busy. He turned his back to me and he went inside the church. He don't even want to listen. But those people, they did. For they are true Christians. And for this reason, I really appreciate them. We have enough fake people, Christian by name. And I assure you, those are not the average people you know. They are working hard Christian. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And again, thanks for those who did make a donation. And I please, if you can help, help. Now, I cannot blame you if you cannot help. If you are a poor person, you yourself, you need help. I cannot blame you for that, but the Lord is watching. If we spend some money for a coffee, just for fun, will my friend just give three dollars for those people? Help them. Help them so one day you will be helped. How the Lord he do it? The Lord always, he will give you a hand. And now the Lord, he is using the good-hearted ones of us to give those Christians a hand so they can help. They are doing their part, doing a lot of physical work to give out the help. But without our support, they cannot do the real help. So let us work as a team. We do our part, they do theirs. I want to say thank you again for being here and very, very uh, uh, disappointing to see people leaving the second we start talking about uh, helping and donating for those people. Those who do that, they have, I don't know what to say. They know who they are. Because even if you cannot donate, even if you don't want to donate, you do not need to leave. But I think maybe they feel guilty. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. We are very happy for our friend who left Islam and he accepted Jesus today. He called us and he confirmed that he become a Christian. We are happy for more Muslims who watched our videos and they will leave this cult. And I hope soon we will have more good news. And the good people, the real servant of Christ, they will serve more by you supporting them. Again, the link is down there, the info. You can click on it to donate to this church. Thank you. God bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative 
has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 